you as fuck. What's Kraken? Got a uh, SPO week six versus going bro. Is that the Brofist team? Gotta find that out. See if it's uh, the same team John used, so I can get some scouting down. It is. No, it's not. Okay. Let's see. It looks like Heatran. It's probably Magmatran. With Protect. Oh no, it might be Roxtran, Scarf Defog Lando, Z Coco. Keep the decent. Um, like Fizdef Pex. And Tang. Ooh, Tang. So. I guess I just. I'm kind of weak to Halucha. I don't keep Coco alive. I'm mean, using not weak at all to Coco, so I'm never getting that thing in besides versus the Lucha 1v1. Uh, if I play my Tran right, it is just going to annihilate him. So, the play is probably to lead Scarf Lando. I don't see any bad leads that it gets me. And it also covers him Coco leading my Torn. So, I'll lead Lando. He's gonna also lead Coco. I can. Hmm. I'm pretty fine if he goes hard into his uh, Heatran on my Pharaoh. Because. I have the Suicune. But getting Chip on this is nice to see if he wants to stay in or what he's gonna do. So. It reveals that I'm Scarf. But it is probably better. And it also. If he doesn't wanna scout if I'm Scarf by staying in. That's definitely the right play. So I'll just U-turn. No harm, no foul. Cause I can get it, get my rocks up really early, which is gonna be nice. Stops the regenerator core a little bit. Oof. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna. He might go into his own Lando. Or he could also be Yachi. Yachi makes sense on this team. He only has one ground. Immune. Okay, so he'll stay in. I just want to see what that damage is. See if it's running like hasty or something. So U-turn 17 to 19.9. Okay, so he could be running minus uh, minus defense, but oh no, he couldn't actually. He's got to be that. Okay, so hmm, yeah, I don't want to take damage on um my Coco, so I'm just gonna go Pharaoh. It's fine if he goes Tran on a U-turn right here. He might also just HP Ace. He does HP Ace, okay. So HP Ace onto the Pharaoh. That's not gonna be Specs. It was 12.2. So I can just get up rocks. As he'll probably U-turn into Heatran or just hard switch Heatran, either's fine. If he hard switches, it covers me making a dumb play. Or it covers him taking on damage. So get rocks. Heatran comes in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to win this with Crocoon. He has the Haze Pex probably. Looking at how weak he is to uh Magirna. But yeah, it's fine. If if he wants to get up rocks, that's what I assume he's gonna go for here. And that's what he does go for. Okay. Um and then I just can I can just sub up and kind of scout the pex set early and wear off the electric terrain, I guess. So that's what I'm going to do. He's going to reveal Black Sludge. Kind of low on time. I can just call my up and see if he has Haze or not. Um, Haze gets affected by pressure now. So he'll set up a Toxic Spike. Okay. And I can throw out a Scald, see what's going to go down. He's gonna set up another T spike, so he might not be Haze in the end. So I can, I'm just gonna go for another combine, see what he wants to do about it. Cause uh, I can always get in my Heatran here. Oh, he's gonna go into Tang. Okay, let me see. Suicune at plus two versus AV Tanger. Oops, that's not. Okay, let's see. Does Giga Drain break at plus two? Does not. Is grass not? I don't know how heavy Suicune is. I think 80. 
Okay, so I should get to plus three, because he's probably running grass now. That's what he ran last night. He's just gonna throw out a knockoff. So I can protect pretty safely, I guess. And he's gonna knock off again. So I will scald, try to get a burn. No burn. And then I can just sub up again. If I can get a burn on this thing, then I'm in a, an amazing spot, I think. Because Gage Rain only hits eight times, so it gets stalled out really fast, and it doesn't break sub at this range. So I'm just gonna throw out another one. And no burn. Um, I'm gonna actually protect once, because now is the turn to sub, so now is also the turn to Giga. If he goes Coco, he's not Specs, and he has max special attack, so that means he's not Z Wild Charge, he's probably Z T Bolt. Let me see how much Z T Bolt does to plus three Coon. Okay, it's not doing that much. So I'll protect. Yeah, he can't go Coco because he doesn't have a Volt Switch, I'm guessing. Okay, he does knock off. He doesn't waste the Giga PVO as good of him. But yeah, I'm good to just sub up again. He Giga Drains. And... I can just protect. Waste another PP. Yeah, knowing that he's not running um, Haze on Pex is super important. Because that means that I can just sit here and stall it out. And we can trade a... Like, I can trade all this PP and shit. So that's really good. I'll throw out another knockoff. I'm not going to do anything to me though. And I'll hope for another burn. Okay, finally, I'm gonna get the burn. It's really good. Because now it means um, he has to Giga Drain to break my sub in two hits. Okay, got him. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going hard pecs. So I'm just gonna calm mind up some more. And he'll go back into Tangrowth. That's not a problem. I can calm mind again freely. Eventually, it's going to be um, him switching in Tangrowth on plus six Scald, I guess. So, I'll throw out a Scald here. Just in case he wants to go Tangrowth, it might 2 it KO. No, it will never 2 it KO. But if I can get Tangrowth on every switch in, then I can kill it. So, that's what I want to do. So, comment again. And just Scald again. Oh, and I get him on the Tangrowth again. So this Tangrowth is getting really low, which is good for me. I right, calm minded there because I don't want to waste PP, and I'm not really. I'm trying to go fast here so I can burn my or not burn my timer down. He's gonna stay in here. He can't go Tangrowth again. So I'm free to run him out of like T spikes, I guess. I'll go for a burn, actually. Wonder what chat's been looking like. Mm, nothing, nothing interesting. Scald is 31, Jesus. That's nothing. Gets the crit, of course. I'll throw out a Scald here. No burn. Okay, it'll 2 KO him here. Or I could go for the crit, because the crit will kill from here, so I think that's the good play. No crit, but I do get the burn, so... Yeah, back to just wasting my own PP. Unfortunately, he's running Black Sludge. It would have been um, nice to knock this first, but he has the Coco. So it makes it hard to knock off, because I don't want Coco coming in for free. Um, just calm mind again. I don't think he's going to go Tangrowth yet. I can actually calc his PP. Let me see. 10 Toxic Spikes, 11 Scald. And I guess Toxic is the last move, which is 32 rate. Oh, it's 16, okay, so 8 plus 10 plus 29. 12 plus 21 plus 12. Okay, I have more than enough PP. I'll scald once in case he wants to go Tangrowth. He doesn't. But I have to be really conscientious of my, uh, of my scald PP. I'm going to throw another one now. Because a crit will kill from here, I think. 3857, let me see. I'm pretty sure he's spadet, or physically defensive, just guessing by the way his team looks, but I could be wrong. No, he's max. Yeah, I know he's running phys dev, so something like... No, not even that. Maybe 128 bold. What have I been getting? 37, 37, 38. 
32, but that wasn't at max. See, so yeah, I'm gonna guess he's something like this. So, can I crit even kill him? 52 to 61. Yeah, I can. So I'll skull crit, please. No crit. Okay. Yeah, he's getting pretty low on the cover, though. I'm only gonna throw skulls out on the turns. Oh, nice. With him. That was good. That's kind of weird, but it was good. Let me see something, actually. I think Coco dies from this range, from a Z T bolt, actually. Or Z hurricane. This is gonna be good to know. Okay. Special Z move. Z hurricane. What the fuck? That does nothing. That's 66, and he's at 71. Okay. Oh my god, he's getting me. He's getting me pretty good. I'm gonna go for the Scald here. And, because the crit will kill him. It's, I'm kind of just crit fishing right now. Which I don't have to go for, but... And I don't get it. Uh, strongly considering just going Torn and Defogging. Because this isn't gonna work. But I want to keep enough PP to win the late game with Kuhn. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I get him on the switch, okay. I can just defog. Um, knockoff doesn't bother me, really. But I need to get rid of the T-Spike so I can get Coco and Kuhn back in. Especially Kuhn for the Heatran, because that's my Heatran switch in. And he's not gonna stay in. And he goes Heatran, okay. Oh, he's not running leftovers. Hmm. But I don't wanna take a... Magma Storm to the face, really. I'm just gonna go hard Lando, not Protect. Protect or Ferrothorn are too easy, and I I can just make the aggressive play and it'll work out. And HPAs won't kill me, because he's not Specs, so... Yeah, I stand by HPAs. Or I stand by Lando. Good play. Just wanna see... T-Bolt, you turn... Ooh! Okay, he does get me. However, he is not going to stay in here. So I can always just get my uh, Torn T back in on a U-turn. But yeah, he's keeping up the pressure. I want to get a knockoff on that Heatran. I want to see the item. See if it's Z-move, because he's not Specs. Oh wait, did he reveal... He, he's not Scarf. No, I asked him turn one, right? Yeah, I did. So I guess he probably is Yachi. Yeah, no, he's definitely fucking Yachi. Okay. Turn 43 and I've lost 74 health, 84 health. Um, just gonna go back to Pharaoh as he U-turns. Oh no, he bolt switches, I mean. Whew. Yeah, I haven't been playing this great so far. That's, you know, bad feeling, but can't play him all great. Now I'm gonna get Kuhn in, so yeah, okay, since he's not leftovers Heatran and he's definitely Yachi Coco, this has to be Z. Probably Z ground, but could be Z fire. And he'll get rocks up. That's fine. I can get torn in, I guess. Or do I just want to throw out a scald? I might just want to throw out a scald. I've been playing really aggressive all game. And I don't think he loses much by staying in, so I will throw out a scald. It doesn't really bite me too much. Okay, I get him. That's really good. Because it puts him in super power range now. Oh, now I can't switch out anyways. No, was, whatever. I'll just throw out a Calm Mind. I don't want to waste more Skull PP. And... I can... What can I do here? I guess I can get Torn in and throw out a knockoff pretty freely. Or a Z Hurricane will kill him from this range. Oh wait, will it? Am I? Low chance. Why does it do so fucking little? I'll go Torn. I do toxics, okay, that's fine. I just wanna knock off default knock off. I'm gonna knock off. He goes Coco. Shuka, yep, revealed. Okay, yeah, now I'm still in a fine spot. 
We'll die to the next Z Hurricane if he's not Roost. And he might be Defog. He could definitely be Defog. But I don't really like Defog Kimko as much as Roost. Bolt switches, that's fine. As long as I don't take any damage on Coco, this game is kind of easy. Not easy, but, you know, easier. So I can protect once, um, burn a turn of... Whatchamacallit? Um, electric Terrain. Which is going to be good. As he bolt switches, I get a little leftovers back. And then, um... I can't go Lando. Ah, go Furrow. One of these turns I'm just going to have to make the aggressive rocks play with my Pharaoh, I think. Or... Full switch Coco makes it so much harder than you U-turn. What's the chat saying? Gondra 1? Uh, no. As you volt switches again. Um, okay. This is the turn where I can't play aggro yet. I just gotta go Suicune. And if he goes Coco, then he goes Coco. Yeah, I'm not even in this chat. Just clear notifications right now. He does stay in and click Magma Storm, I guess. Not Earth Power, okay. And now I can get Torn T in on the knockoff or the Z Hurricane. He won't stay in if he loses Heatran. He's in an awful spot. So I can defog freely. Finally get rid of the rocks. Because uh, I'm not as afraid of T spikes as I am of rocks, honestly. He might think Coco or Heatran can come in because I haven't revealed Superpower yet. Cheat or anything. And then. Hmm. This was really tough. This game is really fucking tough. Okay. I'm gonna get my Pharaoh in here. As he sets up a T spike, I kinda knew he would, but that's fine. And then I'll just. Uh, I want to rock, but I also want to leech seed. I don't think he's going to go hard Heatran, but he might. I think that's fine to stealth rock anyways, as he throws it a burn again. And I'll just get up a spike on the next turn. I don't think he has defog, unless he's defog Lando. He hasn't shown it yet. And Tangro comes in. That's kind of what I was expecting to happen, honestly. So I can go Torn here, as he'll probably click knockoff. Unless he's hidden power fire. Oh, he goes Lando. Um, he's got to be defog, which means that he wouldn't be Stone Edge last. I'm going to Z Hurricane. Ugh. No, I'm going to knock off. I don't think he's going to defog. I mean, I think I'd, yeah, I don't think he's going to defog. I think he'll go hard into Pex. Okay, no, he defogs. Great. Z Hurricane would have killed him. But what can you do? So I'll just get back into my Pharaoh. This Pex comes out again. That's fine though. I'll set up a Leech Seed in case he wants to go Heatran, because he can go Heatran this turn, and he does. So that's good. And no T spikes are up, so it's fine to go Kuhn. As Coco comes back in, I can just protect again, get some leftovers back, so it makes going into this on Heatran easier. And without the rocks up, it's not that bad. Now that Lando is discarped. Oh, he is Roost. Well, I knew he was Roost, but uh, I haven't shown it. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling the stunter die play. I really am. I haven't even sent in my Heatran Arc Coco. I've been using Formons. There's no reason to stunter die, though. I'm too aggro, I don't know. I want to be aggro, but I also don't want to throw on turn 65 when I don't need to. I'm gonna make the aggro play. Please. Okay. 
now. I could EQ, but I don't think he would risk that. His Shook is gone, so he's, he's not going to be making those, like, dumb stay-in plays. I don't think so. Will you turn? And I am correct in my endeavors to U-turn. So, Torn T comes in. Um, I'm actually going to go straight back out to Lando. Because um, he can go Coco now for free. And I don't want Coco to get in. So I'm just slowly chipping the Lando down a few turns. Because that's his Lando immunity. So Lando's fine. And Coco does come in like I predicted. I think he should go Tangrowth. If I was him, because if I were to go for a really crazy HP ice and kill his Lando, that's a bad spot for him. But we'll see. I'm just going to U-turn again, keeping it safe for now. Playing safe hasn't gone too bad yet. Zomal Gondra. Zom is the best player of all time. That's Kevin Garrett. Yeah, that's Kevin Garrett. Okay, yeah, he makes the right play. Tang comes in. So, Big Daddy Heatran. Now, since... Ugh, it'll be a speed tie. Magma gets a kill on everything besides Heatran. But... I don't know. Ugh, I can also miss and he goes Lando. But I don't think it's the worst thing in the world if he goes Lando, because I still have 20 Pharaoh. So I'm just gonna Earth Power. Hopefully catch the train... No, you know what? No. No, because I know I'm going to make the wrong play here, whichever one I go for. I'm going to use a random generator. Heatran, Magma Storm is going to be 1, and uh, Earth Power is going to be 2. So, 1 and 2. Okay, I Earth Power. Yeah, I don't know. And if he stays in and knocks off... Actually, let me make sure Magma kills first. I'm sure it does, but... uh. Okay. I can also go for the speed tie. Or go Lando on his... Ugh. But he's... Mm, such a tricky fucking play. He's thinking too. What did the chat tell me to do? EQ about to do 30. They think he's staying in. Thank you, Derza, off topic. Um... Hmm, I don't know. This is really tough. Call Earth Power. And it doesn't work out. He gets me. Gets me good. He doesn't have Stealth Rock, so I wouldn't feel guilty about um staying in. Hi, <sighs> hi, dude. I think it's pretty safe to stay in an Earth Power again, honestly. I'm just gonna protect him. He's gonna do the same thing that he does twice. So if they're out of protect, does he EQ? He U-turns. Okay, I was right. And Earth Power would have been good. If he EQs, the game's pretty much over, but I have decided that the risk is worth it. And I was correct, and he goes Heatran. He goes Heatran. He goes Heatran. He goes Heatran. He could also go Halucha, but that would be fucking stupid. Actually, I really wouldn't. Because after... Okay, he goes Tangrowth. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this now. I'm just gonna Magma Storm. It might not- it probably won't kill. And EQ and Knock Off won't do anything to me because he's burnt. I mean, losing Leftovers is, you know, no, less than ideal, but, um... Getting rid of this Tangrowth is good because it opens up Coco. A little bit. Hopefully I don't miss. Missing would be... really fucking bad. 37 o'clock on this dinner, I'm gonna have to go buy food instead of get it for free. As he goes, Halucha. Holy shit, I'm moly. I think he's roofing. But I'm not gonna make the dumbass play, I'm just gonna make the safe play. I mean, I know he's roosting. Again, um, if I stay in a Magma Storm, 
and I can miss. Actually, let me make sure. Does Haluchi even die to. Does Haluchi even outgo? Yeah, it does. Okay. I'm not used to using Specs Coco. I really don't like it. If I wasn't Specs here, I'd be in a fucking amazing matchup. Because I already knocked the Torrenties Scarf. You know what? No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that game. I'm just gonna play the safe game. Get my Coco in. I resist all, both of the stabs, so. Because Magnus Worm can also miss if I try to catch him on the roost. And that's a one way ticket to a loss. So, roost up, yeah. Oh, I burned his I didn't even think about that. I mean I mean I'm really good at this game. Okay. Do I volt switch or do I HP base. I volt switch. You know what I could do is mid ground it and go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh shit. I am gonna Dazzling Gleam. As he goes Tango. Ah, what the fuck? Yep. There, my water. That's disgusting. I'm running low as shit on the timer, I want to not do that. Let me see if my Coco will kill him with two Dazzling Gleams from here. It will. So I'm just going to stay in. Ah, uh, and I get him. I get him good as fuck. Um, I'm good to stay in, honestly. Get him that lag. Easy goes Pex. But that opens up Heatran. The hot Heatran man. Or does it? Should I degleam again? No, I don't want to get toxic on this, and I don't want to take damage. I'll go for arrow. I was ready to degleam again. Uh, that's fine though. I'm gonna go torn. He's not gonna Z over here. He's either gonna rocks or he's gonna magma. And he does rocks, so I can just Z hurricane. The reason being. That, um, he was Pex. Does another Hurricane knock this out? I don't think it does, but it might. I decided he was like 124 gold or something. Hurricane does not. Have I knocked this thing's lefties yet? No, I haven't. Okay, I'll defog. Keeping rocks off is super important for me this game. If I were him, I'd actually go hard Coco here. I think that is the ideal play. But he might recover, he might T-spike, either one is, like, equally good. Okay, he recovers? Yeah, he recovers, so... It's fine by me. I'm gonna go Coco instead of Pharaoh because, uh... I'm, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get my next Defog off. And I know he's setting up T-spikes on this turn. Oh no, he goes Heatran, okay. Ooh, whew. I don't like this at all. I really don't fucking like this. But the safe play has been working, so I'm gonna go for the safe play as it doesn't work. I'm lucky. And I could stay in, because I. Well, no, because U turns faster, so that doesn't work. I'll go Torn, U turns as. Yeah, that's why I don't like Specs Coco, like, whatsoever. This game is fucking. <laughs> giving me dog aids. Um. I'm back in that same loop that I was in earlier that it's really hard to get out of. And I don't have much time, I can't focus 135 seconds, but um... I don't know, I'm just gonna get Pharaoh in again. As you roost, okay, good, 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 good. And I'll get up my rocks. I don't think he will go Heatran. I think he will go Tango. I would go Tango. Because no, he goes Lando. Okay. Um. Why? Or oh, U-turn? I mean, I'll spike. Because he's either U-turning in Tangrowth or he's defogging, so I don't lose anything by a spike. I'll Leech Seed this turn, though, in case he wants to defog. Because I think he will. Keeping Pharaoh healthy is important, but also getting Lando low is equally important because it opens up Coco to just get Bolt Switch every time it's in. 
Oh, he's HP Fire Scarf. What the fuck? That is the worst set I've ever seen. But I'm getting really low. I can go Coco, though. He's not going to EQ. He's either going to U-turn HP Fire or Defog, so I will go Coco. Sometimes you just got to find that weird play. It's too good for me to go Torn. And I don't really want to... Dude, I'm... my heart is... Not beaten. Safely. I might have a heart attack. How long is this game? Oh, no, it was just a burp, not a heart attack. Okay. <sighs> I don't want to play anymore, dude. I just don't want... I just don't want to. Dazzling Gleam kills him, so he won't risk it. And save to Volt Switch. And if he does risk it, he's bad. Period. Comma. Exclamation point. Heatran is in. The hot Heatran. Okay. So last time we were in this scenario, I Earth Powered. And I'm gonna do it again. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to Magma. God fuck, I suck at this game. Vigorous head scratching commences. Okay, let's see if Twenty lives a Magma Storm. I don't think it will, because it's plus one. No way, I don't. Yeah, don't fucking ever live that. I don't think he's in a Magma Storm, because I'm bad and I would probably go for the speed tie here, so I'm gonna go Torn. As he goes rocks, that's fine. I can't defog safely, is the thing. But he also can't risk this, so I can defog. Right? Yeah? Logic? Logic never fails. Yeah, the fact that I burned the electric seat so early is really good for me. Like, really fucking good for me. Dazzling Gleam might kill his Heatran from this range also. Fun fact. For you. If, he's, if it shows 13, it means he's... Oh, don't burn. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to click Dazzling Gleam. No, I'm not. I'm going to click Bolt Switch. Yes! Oh, it didn't kill. It's fine, though. I can get Heatran in. Holy shit, I fucking... Crit my ass. I'm just going to Magma. It's not worth it to miss. I can't afford to miss. Halucha dies if it comes in, that's good to know. Because it was at 70 when I took it last time. <sighs> I don't like that crit at all. I don't like it, I don't like it. If I had lost my left or right... <laughs> so I would like, detect if your heart is racing too fast? Because I think I might explode or some shit. Finally kill the Halucha, first kill of the game. Turn 90 fucking 5. I'm gonna protect once just to get a little leftovers back. No reason not to. And I could. I could. I could. I could. I should. Uh, my heart is not this fast. This fast. Play safe, I'll go torn. As a U turns, it's fine though. And okay, my Coco's or my Pharaoh's really low. So I think he will HP ice here. So I'm in a fucking awful fucking spot. I'm gonna go sweet in. As he's gonna HP ice. Yeah, I had to punish that play right there. I have 10 IQ. Thank you for asking, GGGGGGD. Okay. It's actually fine if my Coco takes a little damage here. Just given the spot we're in right now. I can also Scald. I'm gonna Scald. I like that play. I don't think he'll Volt Switch. I think he's gonna Roost or go Pex. 
which means it's time for the Tapu Coco. No, hard to trim. No, 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 fuck, I almost, yeah, why would I do that? Hard Coco. Lando comes in 50-50, as usual. I can just d -blame. Hex comes in, that's fine as fuck. Because it means that I can go there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting that first turn burn. It was really bad. It really was. Oh, nice by him. But I can always just... Well, he's going to set up rocks anyways. My Suicune could actually win if I ever get a knockoff on the Pex. I'm gonna keep that in mind and not let Suicune die. As the Inferno overdrives. Okay. That's fine then. I can't get a knockoff on the Pex, I fucked up. Dazzling Gleam will kill, I'm pretty confident. Unless I get a dick ass roll. I'm kind of getting outplayed. I had it all in my favor and then I had to wait to save, I had to wait to save, I had to wait to save. Two I Volt, two I Dazzling. A Dazzling. It was Tang. I really hate using Specs Coco. This one is just trash. He goes Pex again. I have to go Coon, pretty much. Yeah, I think I lost. Unless I like win a e train speed tie or something. Oh, fuck me. God, that crit was so bad. Uh, so annoying. Didn't crit me. 37.1. Probably won't kill. 35.8. I gotta go for the speed tie. I really do. No, I don't. 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 I don't. He's gonna go. Lando. Got him. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. He has no EQ immune besides Tango, which isn't an immune, but you know what I mean. Butterbean. Am I gonna go for the speed tie? Am I really about to go for a speed tie in a fucking SPL game? Will you go for die? E power? Yeah, those are the reactions I love. I play for those. I think I will. Don't get it, so he gets rocks up. What can be done? What can be done? What can be done? Yeah, that crit really, really just sucked, dick. Coco's gonna come in. The least useful thing here is Pharaoh. But it does get up hazards, which are good. Protect, Volt Switch. You know what, I live a Volt Switch, don't I? Neutron versus Coco. Offensive pivot with Zap plate, no, no Zap plate. No t -bolt. T-Bolt could kill, looking at that. Oh, absolute max is what he would need, though. So will Magma. Oh my god. Well, I'll play all game. Nearly to get fucked. In the ass by a crit, cool hit. I gotta protect, zero covers. God. Damn, that crit ruined me. Why? Why? Why me, Zero? Why me? I'm gonna go Pharaoh. Then I'm gonna get up rocks. Now I'm gonna get up spikes. Rock, spikes, insane. Spikes. Stop rock. I don't think I died a bolt switch, honestly. So I can get up a spike safely. Safely as fuck. Always make the safe play. That crit honestly kind of ruined the game. How did that happen though? Oh, is he running zero? Oh, I was looking at the T-Wall damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Full switch crit. 
Oh, we got dead <laughs> absolute minimum. That's funny. 61.3. So he's not running max special attack. He's running like this or some shit. Ah, uh, I got him. So I get a spike up. That's not bad. And then he HP ices this one. He doesn't HP ice. Will my T bolt kill him from here? My T bolt might. What do I do? 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 Okay. Thank you. Twenty one, not bad. And T Bolt gets a kill. His Coco can never kill mine. I might have to hit a Magma Storm or something to win. I don't, I don't really know how this game's gonna turn out. I, my brain is fucking fried as fuck. As fuck. And I can maybe live a T Bolt. Because he's not max, and once, a, once Electric Train goes down, I can maybe live one. Ugh, this is so. I can't tell if I win, dude. I'm fried in the brain. Insane in the membrane. I'm fried in the brain. If I win, I deserve a Nobel fucking peace prize for this game. Let's skip dinner for this shit. I mean, I had a lot of MMs today, so it's okay. Tangerth comes in. Steve will kill it, should, right? Yo, I'm telling my captains to put me back in next week. I changed my fucking mind. I'm the best player in the world. T Bolt. It'll do over 50, so even if he wins the tie. Okay. GG. Thank you for tuning in to the best player in the world.